How often do you talk about the Boston College, the point shaving scandal? Uh, it just didn't happen. It was real. I was a freshman at Boston College when it when it went down. And, and just the, so people know, this is Henry Hill. This is the mob. Uh, late seventies, I believe. Yeah, nineteen seventy-eight. Okay. Yeah. And so you're you're a a student. I'm a student at Boston College. I'm a, I'm a manager, and I'm you know I'm witness to kind of what's going on. And you never would have dreamed what was going on. Guys just had a bad night. You know, Rick Kuhn was the guy that was you know the, the kind of the kingpin, but he wasn't a good enough player to be able to affect the outcome of the game. So, what what the, as the story goes, he got Jim Sweeney to jump in and try to help him, and Jim was the point guard. Uh, Jim Sweeney was was as good a player, as good a student athlete, as good a guy as there was on campus. He was the best, and the fact that, you know, he got into something like that, sir, it w was very very unpredictable. But he couldn't affect the games to the point where they were getting it all done. And then, you know, whether it whether it's uh, whether it spread to other guys on a team, you just don't know. But there were times you were like. You couldn't believe how they were playing. So, so when you look back at it, you went, yeah, something wasn't right. Do you remember the day you found out that they were fixing games? I don't, but I, but I was floored. I had no idea. Absolutely no idea. It, it would have made no sense until you look back and you went, oh, that game, he didn't even shoot the ball that game. But you have this, now the, the, the movie Goodfellas, that's, th those are the characters that are involved, you know, the real life characters are right. involved in this point shaving right. scandal. Like, this is real. Are you surprised it hasn't happened more often? Uh, because of cases like that, we do a, as good a job as we possibly can of getting to the kids and making sure they understand you're going to be victims. And, 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 and you know, the, there's a lot of talk right now about, about the kids are being exploited and they are victims. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a great way to obviously lose your eligibility. But, but to, it, in real life, you know, those kids were threatened. They're, you know, they were yeah. threatened if yeah. they didn't go... And, and so you just, it just, it's just not worth it. it the, the risk is not worth the reward. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.